A glimpse of what it's like when an Israeli missile hits just meters from your home. This mobile phone footage was taken by an Al Jazeera cameraman. The woman screaming in the background is his wife. Every day and every night since this war began, this is what the men, women and children here are seeing and feeling over and over again. And Israel has warned this is just the beginning. We went to see Ra'id and Wafa al-Ramli, who live with their three children just next to the ministry complex of the deposed government. More than a dozen Israeli missiles hit the complex within a matter of minutes at 1 a.m. Tuesday morning. The family were asleep at their neighbor's house at the time. Look what they did to our house. This is not about hitting Hamas or authority buildings like the Israelis say. This is a war on us, the people of Gaza. The sound when the explosion happens. Oh, the sound. I asked 17-year-old Maram how she felt when she heard the missile strikes. At first, she couldn't even answer. All our lives we are suffering. Now my home is gone. We have nothing. That's it. And just as we were talking, the neighbors rushed in to say a warning had been issued for everyone to evacuate the area. We can hear the sound of the Israeli drones just above us and there's word that we may have to evacuate the area because the ministry buildings are just to our left here, not very far away at all. And that is why everyone is moving whatever they can and trying to get out of here. But the problem is, where can everyone go? To my mother-in-law's house, Wafet told me, just next door, at least it's a few meters further away. Every place in the Gaza Strip is, is, is targeted, and uh, when I hear that uh, this, this, this attack was close to my, uh, my brothers-in-law and my parents-in-law here, I was really scared, but uh, uh, in my place, where uh, it's one kilometer from here, it was shaking like, like uh, an earthquake. For the past year and a half, the people of Gaza have lived under an Israeli siege that starved them of the right to a decent and dignified life. And now Palestinians say the terror every single one of them here is experiencing is Israel's latest method of punishing them. Shireen Tadros, Al Jazeera, Gaza.